I, you're so fucking down, dude. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are done in rings. And we're back, Remainers. <sighs> Good morning, Reset. Right here. Well, today's the final collection day. Yep, I hear this time, really. Hmm. If I close my eyes, I can practically see uh, weeks of hard work stretching out before me. Well, that sure has happened, huh? Over here, adventures, it's been a heck of a month. Well then, for the final day, work as hard as you possibly can. Regardless of how difficult the task before us may seem. And do not e get lazy if you leave you're already. Even if you leave you're already. Yes? Alright, well, let's get to work. I need to make 260000 today. The price of sweets has increased. The hats boom has ended. Wasn't where there was one. Missiles to kill the master. Your wife is looking for you. <laughs> Durian. Also, you unlock new items. Yeah, but if I leave, I lose an option to sell. True. And, I, and I'd have to buy those items and I would lose money. Yes, you would. It's unfortunate. Okay. What are the outstanding orders for this day? This poll's not helping me. Uh, treasures and weapons and shit. Forget that little shit can't afford the perfume staffs. They have to sell them like the lower, what the what? Well, just sell them any fucking weapon. It doesn't matter. Yep, I got two of these, and you don't need two of them. So let's put a. Just uh, got one of those out. Well, no, no, let's not do that. Let's put a beach down. Mm-hmm. All right. Now sending orders. Two treasures, four treasures weapons. and four weapons, which I have plenty of. Yep. And at the end, I click on the inventory and I sell everything. This is from my brother. Okay, whatever. Soon dare. Right off the bat, not bad. I'm here for my weapons that you can't possibly afford. Freaking piece of shit. You can't even afford a single perfume staff. I know. <laughs> Jerk, you fuck. Uh, I sold you the other thing. Oh, nope, there we go. Thank you. Oh, we're halfway there. <laughs> You're literally living on a prayer. I really am. That's when people were bringing you shit to buy. I don't mind. I can just sell it, but. And the prices were normalized. Yeah. At least bring me something I could sell for good money. Yeah, okay. I don't. I don't er, like going out of business the sale. Everything must go! <laughs> and we have our episode title Pure Edge, Pure Edge. Or Perfume Staff, I don't give a fuck. Laws of cheating and equipment doesn't matter. Okay. I surely am. Oh, look at that. We're so close now. Oh, 28,000. You want the treasures? Yes, you do. Yes. yes, I have the treasures. And you're buying them. You're getting the gold scales and the gold scales. <laughs> Some golden scales. Oh. so much yes yes and buy this durian you sweet little child <laughs> oh, I love you little girl you're my favorite person oh yes do you have some food yes I have some food for your broke ass 
Here, how about an apple? Because I, I, I literally don't know how much money you have. Two more periods left. 150,000 to go. Okay. <sighs> yes, Pule, please keep piling in, please. That is an adequate amount of people. <laughs> yes, excuse me, I'll make it cheaper. You know, it's not like my livelihood depends on this. My like, home is about to be stolen out from under my feet. I will be sold to slavery after the, after the you know, vestigial organs are harvested from me. <laughs> Do you know what's vestigial? A lot of things you really don't want to, to be vestigial. Uh, like apparently, you Apparently you can survive with a lot of parts missing. <laughs> yes, yes, take this please. I'm gonna try to go. I'd rather, if I can do this without having to freaking, you know, sell my entire inventory, I would consider that a serious win. Now that little bitch got my money! For the love of God, buy things! Yes, thank you! I mean, it's not the best thing for me to, for you to buy from me, but I'll, you know, it works. Need your bracelet? Yeah, sure, I got bracelets. Here, strong arm bracelets. Aha, yes, give me, come on, run, no, no, no! Okay, uh, uh, uh. Damn, why is my most valuable things have to be so worthless now? Oh good lord, I am running out of inventory that I can put out. Light children goes out there. Are any of those things even valuable? These? Yeah. Uh, keep going. 8,000 for the void crystal. I think if you break 420,000, you should be good. We'll see. Yes! Produce a weapon, like manufacturer? I guess, I don't know. I think she can afford this. I've raised her up a couple times. Yes! Ah! Mm. For a grand! Yes, it is a lucky day. We should pick something more valuable, but, you know, it's fine, it's whatever. Two hundred warriors. Yep, just not as good as the three hundred. Yep, three hundred is so good. Yes! Oh, Charm! You've always been my favorite. Yes, I'm so okay with that price. Mon Law hates you. And XPy extension, so do I. Get out. Get out! <laughs> Damn it! Okay. Now it's time for the purge. Do I risk it all and try to sell? You cannot possibly raise 90,000 in one night and that one thing. You you can't do it. Okay, it's not like you're going to sell like all your treasures, okay? You literally have to take all that stuff and sell it. I I mean, that's a guaranteed way for you to win. Yes, do but it. 
It's not the br but it's not it's not hero mode. It's not brave. No, fucking win the game. Don't be a fucking idiot. Just go buy the shit and sell it. That's what you got to do. That's such a boring ending. It's, it's what you have to do, Corey. You're gonna lose your house. Not, now's not a time to be a fucking idiot. Just take the shit, go sell it. Make sure you'll ha and hopefully you'll have enough inventory left that you can actually make money back and continue business and not like be completely broke on the last fucking day after selling every after selling all the stuff. You gotta do it. Don't be a fucking idiot. You're an ass. You have no adventure. Uh, I like winning games. Yeah, but people like to see game, you know, see excitement, Corey, drama, this game, Corey, tension. The game, no, no, the game has literally been fucking you in the mouth this whole goddamn time. By constantly keeping your equipment very fucking ch shitty. Anyway, go to your most expensive stuff. Not that. No. I'm talking treasures here. Holy fuck. Yep. Coming here may have screwed me. Hmm. Yep, I think you screwed me. You couldn't have sold 81,000 <coughs> in a single night. Well, let's get started. Let's take a look at what you got there then. I'm, no, it, it would take too long to calculate. That's fine. We just gotta, like, go to your most valuable stuff and you gotta sell that shit. I'm talking treasures, man. Treasure. Sell the fucking treasures. Oh dear god. Cody, <laughs> this, is, this is terrible. I know. It sucks. Why are you doing it one at a time? Just sell the whole fucking thing! Because there is no all button, unfortunately. Well, if anything, this is actually more dramatic because we don't know. Used to be a guarantee. Now it's not. Getting comfortable. Mm -hmm. Still more secure. Still not quite there, though. Oh, I might. We might be okay. Take note. You have a lot of fucking materials. I think. I think we'll be okay. Look at those peach tins. Success. We, we did it. We did it. <laughs> it was ugly as fuck, but we did it. It was ugly as fuck. Oh, God damn. Looks like it was here. Hey, I'm here. Mm, there's a reason we didn't notice you. Given how often you were in here, you might as well be a part of the scenery. Why is it a mean little fairy? You know that? Why, well, if you keep being mean to me like that, you know what? I won't share my super secret booze info with you. What I won't do. As if we would have any interest in such information regardless. So there's a brand of stuff called Ponchi. What happened to not sharing info with us? Show sure, folks found out the Ponchi trash paste, but I see, I listen to a word I'm saying. Well, that's how charm is, I guess. Yeah. There is no way in hell you're going to sell items. To I do think that. I could have. You would have literally had to have nine people buy something that was over ten thousand each. Nine people do it. Very true. So this payment for this week. Let me see. Congratulations, Reset. This payment, your loans, all those loans, has been repaid in full. I see. You worked very hard, Reset. Well done. That's all right, the payments and the weirdness and stuff? Kind of real somehow, like it's over? How's that possible? Indeed. Hey, I have a moment. Will you step outside, perhaps? Oh. You're completely fucked, little girl. You're completely fucked. Yep, I mean, I can make some of that money back, and I can just, you know, 
I can sell or can sell inventory and go on adventuring and just build back up from there. But yeah, I mean, you sell like a couple of crystals and you're going to get yourself back into a place where you can hire somebody and then go get items. But we did it. Ah, uh, the evening breeze feels wonderful. It does. I like the city at night like this. Looking down from the hill. Only five weeks have passed since I arrived here. Quite a bit has happened, despite the short amount of time. I've raised about a fucking million goddamn picks. Yep. I say I never thought I'd have to open an item shop to help pay off my Elf on Papa's dad bad loans. When I arrived here, I expected... No, I deserved. Nothing but your scorn and hatred. And you always trusted me. And the day we met to this very moment without questioning me once. I do not understand it, even now, how you are capable of such casual trust. How can you be so ceaselessly positive about things? Um, she's just dumb. I don't know if I really understand the question. Uh, to tell you the truth, you told me they had to open an item store to pay off the debt. I think it was, that sounds like a lot of fun. I never, I met people I never could have dreamed of meeting when I was alone. I got to run a shop, I went on adventures. I got to experience so many things I never thought I'd see. It was exciting just waking up in the morning wondering what would happen. More than that, I got to meet you, Tyr. I'm happy that everything I am, I'm happy about that than I am anything else. Man, you say such embarrassing things so casually. Oh, <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to make you blush, Tyr. <laughs> not at all, I, I, I'm not... Ah, uh, soon to hear. Yep. I know some scary stuff happened too. But I'm glad I got to experience it all with you, Tyr. I was happy to be there with you, Sith. And so my days of paying back endless debt ended. And that's it. The game tried to fuck me. Oh man, did the game try to fuck you? <laughs> Tried to fuck me hard and dry. <laughs> it's like I, I seriously think if we went back and looked at it, like most of your goods were like at reduced prices for half the fucking game. Yep, it was quite horrendous. But as of the game, what happens when if you do lose? What happens is you go through a time loop, and it was all a bad dream, and she starts over from day one. But all her levels, and the inventory, and the money she had, or whatever, is still there. But you start from day one. And that would just been me going, just screaming, while, over a time lapse of just me going through and doing all that shit and selling stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't get a bad end, in a sense, in this game, but, uh... But, as a, the har it's definitely the hardest to beat this on your first try. Yeah. At, but you, especially when the game is like trying to actively fuck you. But yeah, I mean, but on the second playthrough, even if the game is actively trying to fuck you, I just really have a hard time p imagining it you can lose at that point. Just from the sheer amount of inventory and time you have to build up. I mean, and the fact that you're barely getting anything taken out of your fucking inventory as whenever you're paying off your debt, because it's like, what, 5,000 picks or 10,000 the first payment or something like that? Uh, yeah. It's like non existent. Well, the, the items that are. It, you know, that you're selling aren't really worth that much, but on the second play playthrough, 10,000, I mean, even, as you can see, even like 200, uh, 120,000 or whatever is nothing. Yeah. And you can see here is like, oh, characters I haven't met, because yeah, there are at least a few more characters adventures that I haven't seen or even used. Obviously, Nagi, eventually she's going to show up, and I'd be able to use her, and she'd be a And then spear. there's the robot. And then there's the robot. Chick, and then chick. Yeah, I think Arma. there's a... There's this guy, too. Yeah, that vampire dude. But it's a lot of criteria to make him show up. But there's also... And uh, there's that girl with the red hair earlier. She uses the bow. And that guy uses claws or something. I don't know, but... I never I never gotten her played him. Because that recalls doing endless mode, and I've just never done it. But it's a, it's a, it's a really fun game, and I recommend trying it out. Because there is a lot of... There is randomness involved, so you don't always get the same experience each time. And I wouldn't, and I really enjoy the same thing. We talked about a while ago, like, how interesting and fun it was just doing an item shop that adventurers go to and stuff like that. It's very different. Yeah, it's, it's a, 
it's one of those things that I think is missing a lot of games. Where, like, I mean, I play World of Warcraft, and, you know, I'm a leather worker, but I don't, like, soap my goods up in a stand. I just fucking craft shit, and I throw it into a fucking auction house. It's, it's very, it's very sterile as far as, like, that experience is, so that's missing, but... Yeah. But uh, and then, you know, you play a game like fucking Final Fantasy XIV, where you're literally crafting every single little bit of stuff that you do, and you can throw it on the auction house, but it's not really going to get you any money. And you, Technically, you could just spend hours and hours doing this crafting and stuff, and it also has the best crafting system I've ever experienced. You know, and, that's, and that's just, like, skill-based and, like, planning out your actions and things like that, which is, makes it much more interactive and a lot more fun and exciting. Yeah, I mean, like, the only game that I've played that where you could technically open up your own little shop was Ragnarok Online Original, whenever you made the merchant class, and you just had the little cart behind you. And then you would... But you really were just turning yourself into, like, a vending machine in a spot. It really wasn't anything special. Yeah. But, like, event but if there's a game in the future where you can... Oh, wait. Back to the story. Hey, Tia, you haven't forgotten anything, have you? I have not. I did not arrive with all that much, so, I mean, the plan was to come in, boot take you out, and take the house. <laughs> like, I literally came in with nothing but a clipboard. And, uh... And a good boot. A good boot. <laughs> a nice boot. A very nice shiny boot. I call that my evicted boots. I call them my evicted... My urgent punting boots. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, right. Well then, I need to be going. You know, thank you, Tyr. Thank you so much. Farewell, Reset. Be the best shopkeeper you can possibly be. Yeah. Hmm. There's something inside this barrel. What the fuck? These are. What are they? Ledgers. What are they? Yep. Uh, those. Yeah, you see, uh. Stock books, financial statements, profit reports, asset ledgers, accounts payable and unreceivable. These. I'm tier? Merde. I said it over and over and over. Make sure to keep these books straight, Reset. These are all blank! Well, you see, I was told I gotta do them right. But why do today what you do tomorrow, and then tomorrow, and now you end up not doing them at all? I don't have any use for excuses. I'm sorry. Well, we need to go back, take inventory, and make sure nobody's plundering our accounts out from under our noses. Come on, there's only two of you. And you used all of it. <laughs> Literally every bounce of money went into paying off debt. Uh, Tyr, what do you... Well, yes, it's perfectly clear that I, if I leave you here alone, you would end up crushed like an insect the moment I leave. I intend to keep you working just as hard, mind you. You're going to... Okay, okay, yeah, let's go back! And so our days of running a time shop continue! But without the crippling, crushing debt on top of it. Yep. Got lose true card. True card? Yeah, which means I, he's on my thing a lot at the beginning. Okay. Which is weird, because I could have swore I used uh, Charm more. Oh well. So you managed to pay off no, that No, no, no. You did, uh... Right, yeah. So you managed to pay off that Lone Shark Fairy's debt, have you? Well, I suppose some congratulations are in order. Still, I wouldn't expect any common proletarian to have the wholly basic skills needed to get this far. And now, for part two! The elegant, graceful tale of Alouette. Charlotte, you're just as interested in making that happen. <laughs> What'd you say? Come down, Missy. You'll need to get so much up over it. More well, importantly, please do this explanation right just as once. <laughs> That's the way I, of all people, have to. <laughs> okay, mistress. Fine, fine, if I must. Well then, without further ado, let me to explain post-game content, or enjoying the game after beating it. Right, that's better. Oh my god. To start with, if you'll load the game, we're about to save. You will get an endless mode where you can play as long as you like without having to worry about any debts. You may work as a common shopkeeper to your heart's content. Delight, but alright. 
And you know, there just might, maybe, possibly, be some items and dungeons and stuff you haven't seen before. That's... Almost decidedly there, there, yeah. there must be. You've now unlocked New Game Plus in the survival modes. New Game Plus, you start over again, but you choose to save. And keep all the items and levels from that save. Remember that you're gonna pass the debt for the beginning again, though. Survival mode is a nasty business where you keep paying back debt every single week until it overwhelms you. How long can you last against weeks of six digit payments, I wonder? Especially in the ridiculous survival hell, hell mode. <laughs> oh, yeah, you wanna put my truck card from an adventure. You only get that from an adventure or a cluster. But if you have that, you can hire them in the start in New Game Plus and Survival Mounts. Anyway, that should about do it. Really, a proper player would be satisfied beating the game just once. At the very least, aim to fill out the entire item in the encyclopedia. Now then, pardon moi! Say, so, guys, enjoy the rest of the game, I guess. Yeah, save the game. And clear, now it's endless mode. 12 hours. And we're broke! Well, you were really fucking broke that one day, too. You just Now you're just putting other shit in there. And the new stuff a lot. Survival score, item encyclopedia, survival mode, new game plus. Yeah, if you look at item encyclopedia, you'll see that there is a fuck ton of shit. Like, here's only... F I have a quarter of the items in the game. Yes. It yep. doesn't show me what I don't have. It just shows me what's, you know... Yeah. Mm hmm like, and, look at this. I'm, there's yeah, items, I mean, there's, there's two like sets of items for buff. Yet. Yeah, I mean, that's two hero items. Like, probably yeah. claws for the demon guy, or and then there's whatever for the robot girl. Yep. Or Arma. I thought she used the gauntlets. Nope, that's Elin. Oh, okay. He's a monk. <laughs> Treasures, ingredients, books, cards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the bit of his muffler's dash. Should be with you forever now. Price 100. <laughs> no, not, his, his friendship isn't worth much. Like, yep. category, more categories I've yet to see, so. Yep. And we might have some times where we might come back in the future and just do, like, an endless thing and start playing a bit of endless mode and, like, unlock new characters or something like that. Try to get, you know, and get the extra story oh. ending, stuff like that. Yeah, at least show off the extra, all the other characters that are available in the game. Um, but that won't be for a while. That requires, you know, some grinding, and I'm not going to show that to you guys, so that's just... Frangle might stream that, but I don't know. Yeah, hard to say specifically what we'll do with it. But that's it for Rest of Tier and Item Shop's Tale. I hope everybody enjoyed watching it. It was, it's definitely a special game, and I recommend picking it up. You know, yeah, it, it goes on sale frequently, so if you feel like waiting, go ahead. But but yeah, solid title though. So that'd be it for now. Till next time. Till later, remainders. Bye, guys.